New at 11, just a few hours ago, Eagles Landing students came together to honor the lives of four classmates killed in a car crash. A fifth student remains in the hospital. Paola Suro joining us live from that school. And Paola, I'm sure it was a very emotional night for these students. It was, Jennifer, and it all unfolded just about three hours ago. This football field here behind us was full of hundreds of community members and even more balloons, all of them coming together to think and remember about those four students who died and to pray for the speedy recovery of the fifth student. Hold on, cause better days are coming. As the sun sets Monday afternoon on the Eagles landing football field. Let us release our balloons and allow them to rest easily. A sea of hundreds of white balloons were released onto the sky, each one holding countless memories of students Jordan Brown. It's crazy to think that, like how we were like so cool in seventh grade that this could have happened to her. Like I can't even like still that hasn't really even processed yet. Katrina Owens. She's just one of the people that that's nice to everybody. Kendarius Dodson. He was a special kid. He was really, he was a very special kid. And it wasn't nothing going to do. Everything he, he learned, he mastered. And Kendarius Jackson. The people who died, like they're like so outgoing that they just make friends so easily. The four students, along with the fifth, were in a car Wednesday afternoon when police say it left the road and hit many trees. Brown, Owens, and Dodson, who was driving the car, died on impact. Jackson died two days later. Classmate Naya Wilkinson says she'll never forget that day. We were taking a back road, and all we seen was it was cut off by caution tape and I seen ambulances and cop cars. She says the fifth student, also a friend of hers, is still recovering in the hospital. On Instagram, we seen a picture of her smiling. This, it just gave us like a little bit of hope, you know, mm -hmm. like to see that at least one person survived. For everyone, this vigil was a time for healing. The tears I've shed since Wednesday night are immeasurable, and I know that I'm just one of us. And remembering yeah, fond memories to together. Well, it's been tough for the family as a whole, so we just came together. Now, for perspective, the crash occurred just about a mile from the school here where we are at. And tonight, we really had the opportunity to speak to family members as well as students. They had so much to say.